Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a video um, on harvesting. We're going to be taking quite a few things out of the garden today. Um, lots of things have begun to flower and we have fruit and we have everything. So when I'm in my garden, I like to do uh, quite a few things. Um, I do harvesting, sometimes I'll pull weeds, we do watering. So today I am going to kind of do a comprehensive video on how we get all of those things done and we do it in a very short time frame. So we're going to start off with the harvesting of collard greens. Um, I have all of the supplies that I need already set ready in place. So today I'm going to be using a garden colander to collect my greens so they rinse off very very easily um, and also a perfect place to store them. I also have my shears, my gloves, and a nice little towel. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to harvest collard greens. Um, I have quite a big or large patch of collards that I'm going to be harvesting today. So whenever you harvest collard greens, you always want to do it in such a way that it does not hurt um, your plant. So collard greens will produce um, even in cooler temperatures. So you want to make sure that you get as much usage out of this green as much as possible. Okay? So when you harvest the collards, um, you always want to make sure that you are harvesting just where about right here okay so you're going to go ahead and snip all right but you still want to leave this stem this stem is actually going to help to produce a new leaf so again you're just going to go in right here you're going to snip okay so you're just going to continue doing this until you get everything out the garden all your leaves out you're just going to go in and you are just going to snip okay i love the sound of hearing that crisp healthy green snap right off of that stem okay so a little bit about collards as we are snipping so collards prefer um, a little bit of cooler temperatures a lot of the plants that I have in my garden they need a lot of sun but collards these babies just need a little bit of sun and some room um, my collards as you can see my leaves grow pretty pretty big pretty healthy leaves okay and we don't give them a lot of sun we do give them uh, water so I water them quite frequently um, here we've been having temperatures in the mid to upper 90 degree temps so with that being said your plants are going to require more water so um, after i snip my leaves again i just throw them in my colander for storage um, again you're just going to go in right about here get a nice crisp snip so collard greens, once you plant them, um, especially from a transplant, I'm not sure about seedlings, but, um, or um, I'm sorry, from seedlings um, instead of seeds, but once you transplant them from seedlings, they will grow, um, it takes about 55 to 60 days for them to mature. Um, after I snip my leaf, store it, um, I do like to wash my collard greens off outside in the yard, give them a real strong wash before I actually take them in the house. Um, once I get them in the house, I do like to wash them again. Sometimes you wanna look under the leaves to see, expect the leaf. Um, a lot of bugs, especially spiders, like to make this into a little camp and they'll be hanging out underneath the leaf. So I like to make sure to look. I try to take care of any pest before I take the greens in the house to wash them. Um, so again, and I just have a nice little storage area right here for my collards. So again, with collard greens, you just want to go, okay, right here, okay. You see where that green is starting. We want to make sure that we preserve very well. So we are going to keep this leaf or this stem. We're going to keep that stem that stem will produce a new leaf. 
And so right where your green kind of starts to end, you're just gonna pow, you're gonna snip that green off. Okay, another big healthy leaf. And again, make sure that you go ahead, you inspect the back of your collard greens. Um, I did have a little critter, probably um, a little worm of some sort that got to my greens, but I do inspect them quite often. All right, so this leaf is ready to go. We're gonna just pop that in our storage pile and we are gonna move on to the next, okay? So now that we have got the greens out the garden, it's the perfect time for you to actually get to see your garden bed, right? Because the leaves get so big and so hardy that it kind of takes over and you can't really see what's on the bottom canopy, right, of this jungle. So now that I can kind of see what's here, I like to go ahead and do some cleanup. So I like to kind of pull some weeds out. We got some little babies here, but I like to pull, call me old fashioned, I pull weeds from roots, okay? So I do not like to use any type of a pesticide or weed killer in my garden. It's 100% organic. So I like to just go in, so we get a nice little weed growing here. So I like to just go in, pull that weed, okay? I like to keep all my dirt, so shake some of that uh, soil off back into the garden, okay? Any little weed that you see, you just pull them out. And we kind of just go through, um, and again, any weed that we see, we come in for it. We coming for you, all right? And we pull those weeds out. Okay, we're gonna clean that garden floor. Um, however, some of the foliage, um, like for example, this leaf came off the green at some point and it died, womp, 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 rest in peace. I leave that out there. I leave it, um, I let it break down. I think of that as compost, okay? that's. That's my definition of natural organic compost. Um, some gardeners will say that it actually uh, encourages pests. I say, you know, that it actually helps the garden. Any bugs, any pests, we try to get them off before we bring them into our clean home. watching my video on how to harvest collards, I ask that you please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as follow me on Instagram underscore at the garden brand. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.